else to sing, so we was just going to see if y'all wanted to hear anything. You sing the Little House, please? Yeah, that's 77. <coughs>
under the blood. Great job. thinking this week you know 25 26 years ago me and Al was working together and you know it's funny that we both end up in the same church back then I doubt I know it wasn't even in my head about being in church but I'll try to sing this song I've heard once the bird has a broken wing, he can never fly high anymore. Let me tell you what I know. It's not always so, cause once I laid helpless and sore. I fell from above yeah. like a wounded dove with no hope of flying again. But with grace from above yeah. and God's marvelous love, I'm flying higher than I've ever been. <coughs> higher than I've ever been higher than yesterday's sin where eagles can't soar I can see heaven's door I'm flying higher than I've ever been you see I fell by the way life's wounded prey then old Satan like a vulture he swept low in my darkest hour that's when he came to devour what was left of my wretched my dying soul as low as life gets God was not finished yet He's seen more good than I ever saw in me. Now I live above the doubt, so high in the clouds that I can't see the tops of the trees. Higher than I've ever been. Higher than yesterday's sin. Where eagles can't soar. I can see heaven's door. I'm flying higher than I've ever been. Amen. Yeah, that means a lot to me, that song. It's about the way my life's been. Yes, it I was once close to God and got hurt and fell from Him, run from Him. I've got him back now. Yeah, I'm going to keep him. i got one more. I was looking through some papers. And this song. Uh, I remember when I was little. I was, my granddaddy get me on 
one leg and my sister on the other leg and he'd sing this song to us. It's a children's song. But praise God, I'm a child of the Lord. So I'm going to sing it. <coughs> Jesus loves me This I know For the Bible tells me so Little ones to Him belong They are weak but He strong Jesus loves me this I know as he loved so long ago taking children on his knee saying let them come to me Jesus loves me still today walking with me on my way <coughs> wanting as a friend to give life and love to all who live Jesus loves me <coughs> He who died Heaven's gate to open wide He will wash away my sin Let His little child come in <laughs> Jesus loves me He will stay Close beside me all the way Thou hast bled and died for me I will henceforth live for Thee Jesus loves me He who lives Through His blood salvation gives Praise His name to all you know. Let the Holy Spirit show. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I can believe right now and say it's been a good place to be. Uh, I like it when uh, the Lord comes by. You don't have to have uh, a long sermon. You don't have to do anything. Just let God work. And when people's obedient to the Spirit of God, that's when help comes. Amen. That's when help comes, when God's people are obedient. When people answer the call. You pray, uh, Rick asked us to sing this song, and I'm no, definitely no singer, so uh, you'll just have to pray tonight. But I can't hear a thing out of my left ear, so everything sounds like it's a running in a circle. So you pray tonight, God being our helper, we'll try to do our best. Just listen to the words of this song. And... Uh, I just like to thank God for salvation. Amen. Firm and true. I just thank God for old time heartfelt salvation. Amen. Amen. A life changing experience. Amen. Amen. With the Lord Jesus. Amen. As they sung, it's under the blood, and I'm not what I used to be. Amen. My sins are gone. Uh, 
Boy, that gets deep. Praise God. I, I want to sing this song, and I want you to listen to this song. I, I'm not much of a singer, but uh, I appreciate everybody's sung tonight. Appreciate little Montana. That's one of her favorite songs. <coughs> Somebody touched me, and I, I thank God Amen. for her. Amen. Praising God, and and I believe He got praise. Amen. Uh, Amen. Just you, just pray tonight. God being our helper. I just come to see God move tonight, brother. Amen. It's all I come for is just to sit in the presence of God and to feel His sweet spirit. Amen. You don't feel that everywhere in this world you go. Amen. But I thank God tonight you can feel it. So you pray tonight, God being my helper. Someday when my last line is written, Someday when I draw my last breath, when my last words on earth have been spoken and my lips are sealed in death don't look on my cold form in pity don't think of me as one dead it'll just be the house i once lived in my spirit by then will have fled i'll finish my time here allotted but i won't be in darkness alone i will have heard from heaven the summons to come on home and when my body lies in the grave don't think that i'll be there i won't be dead but living in the place jesus went to prepare and after all is said and done know that my last earnest prayer is that my loved ones be ready someday to meet me there praise god amen amen, amen. amen bro that's all that matters to me tonight is praise God people's ready to leave this world for you see the time's at hand we're almost home and praise be unto God I, I don't know I didn't be honest with you I didn't even come I didn't come to prove they have been so much come to my mind tonight praise God and and you know I, I thank God for amen a heartfelt salvation amen. I thank God and Apostle Paul began to preach a faith now I want you to listen close Amen. I'm looking for people that wants a new life. Amen. I'm looking for somebody that's tired of the life they lived and praise God want a new beginning because Christ Jesus will give you a new start. Amen. And not only will He give you a new start, but He'll go with you. Amen. All the way to the end according to the Word of God. Now I'm going to preach something. Amen. Tonight that's steadfast and unmovable according to the Word of God. I'm going to preach something tonight that the old disciples. Amen. And a man named Paul, amen, began to preach, amen, in the churches, amen, in the Word of God. Oh, Paul began to preach and he said this, If any man I, I be in Christ Jesus, he is a new yeah. creature. I, and behold, all things are passed away. I, and behold, all things become new. I, he goes on into the Roman church I, and he began to tell them. I, he said, how, then, how can we I, that are dead to sin I, I live any longer therein? I, he said, God forbid. I, and he said, oh, thy brother, I, he said, Amen, should we abide in sin? I, that grace may abound. I, he said, God forbid. I, he said, Oh, Paul, Amen. His name wasn't always Paul. I, he went by the name of Saul I, in the Word of God. I, and this man was an educated man. I, and he persecuted God's people. I, do you realize that old Paul had letters in his pocket? I, when God struck him over the other, I, with blindness, Amen, I, to go and get some of the church. I, Amen. And to kill him and put him in prison. I, do you realize that? I, and he thought he was a doing God's will. I, he was a religious man. I, he's a man that stood I, and held the coats of the men. I, that stone no Stephen. I, he saw the glory of God. Yeah. I, amen. Whenever old Stephen looked up. I, amen. The Bible said. I, and he placed so 
a man that held the coast of the men stone Stephen. Persecuted a man of God because he told them the truth. You see, they crucified Jesus and then professed theism God. Do you know people praise God, amen, to persecute Christ every day by the way they live? Amen. They bring a reproach on the name of the blessed name of Jesus, amen. They throw His blood out in the streets, amen, and walk over Him. Amen. Praise be unto God that lives uh, throw the grace of God away. Oh, Saul, amen, praise God, he's a religious man. And all this man done was told him the truth. Stephen Stunt told him, he said, yeah, but he could have known who he was talking about Jesus. He said you wouldn't have crucified him, amen. If you would have known who he was, you wouldn't have killed him, praise God. And they stoned the man of God. But they didn't kill him. They just delivered him into the hands of God. Hey, man, you see, it had to come to pass. Praise God, brother, for an old man named Saul to witness the glory of God because he's coming down the road and the voice of heaven was coming to him. You see, God had a purpose for a man to kill his people. Amen. Amen. Not the road to Damascus over there, praise God. The way Carl straight, the Bible said, Amen. There's a voice come out of heaven and he said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And Saul said, Who, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom thou hast persecuted. Amen. He said, Why do you kick against the priest? There's something happened to that man over there when he seen the glory of God that he never got away from. And the Bible said that they man darkness that it fell on him, amen, and praise God that God blinded him. <coughs> and his eyes was blind over there. But you see, God already had a man for that purpose. Amen, praise be unto God. I've been talked about like a dog put down, made fun of, and everything else, Jeff Ashley. But praise God, damn it, God has let me touch. Amen, they know that I'm not playing games. Can I get an amen? amen? The day that you realize that God is after you, it wasn't a joke then, was it wasn't. That old preacher seemed like he did more than that. You had to see somebody. You had to see something by the glory of God. Now listen, the Bible said, amen, that God had a man, and his name is Ananias, and he spoke Ananias, and he said, you go over yonder to the way you go straight. And a man named Saul, he said, Lord, I heard all that he's done unto thy people. Jesus said, amen. He said he's looking for a man, and his name's Ananias, to pray with him in his eyes. I might be opened up. Bible said, Amen, that a nice one over there and he prayed with you. <coughs> the scales fell from his eyes and his eyes was open and he was no longer called Saul, but his name was Paul then. Yeah. Yeah. You know what he done? He got up and he wasn't trying to persecute God's people. He went to preaching the gospel. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what he preached. I'm going to preach it. Yeah. Woo! Oh, Paul began to preach a faith in the name of the Bible said there's only one name. They ain't no other name under heaven whereby men must be saved. And that is the name of Jesus. Apostle Paul began to preach in the churches and in the religious crowds. And he began to tell them about a man. And to give you a new life and a new beginning. And you'd only believe and let him into your heart. Accept him as your Savior. He'd make a new creature out of you. Paul preached the faith that was so real that men and women changed. Say, do you believe that? Amen. With all my heart. You see, they used to be an alcoholic. Amen. Praise God, the dope head. 
Amen. 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 Paul knew what he's talking about. They made fun of Paul, tried to kill him. If it hadn't been for that man of God, that boat's on that boat I preached about Sunday. Well, the ground they made. Don't you realize that sometimes God blesses you because who's in your company? Come on now. I ain't saying I'm nothing, but this is what I do know I am. First of all, I know that my name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I know one Friday night, a man, 20 some odd years ago, that that old drunk, a man, that alcoholic, fell down to the call of Jesus. And when I fell down, you know what the prayer was? This modern day religion will tell you, you've got to repeat after me. And you've got to say all these words. You've got to call, a man. The prayer that got that alcoholic saved was God. anything I believe. Amen. If you will doubt me and you don't believe the Word of God, just keep your mouth shut. Just leave me alone. I don't need nobody to hinder me. Let me tell you something I do know. Brother Harry Osborne, a man wouldn't care a bit for me to tell this. Had a car accident out here in Jefferson several years ago. A man, praise God, a terrible car wreck, Jeff. He tore his artery loose from his heart. Hey man, he should have bled to death within seconds. Hey man, the man should have been dead. They are lifted this man all the way, hey man, to Winston Salem. Hey man, look at him about the fly. Praise God, hey man. I want you to see something. And Thomas, he should have died within seconds. And they couldn't understand why he wasn't. But when the sergeant went in and he opened that man's heart, he stepped back. He said, I heard him tell it. He said, I've never seen nothing like it. He said, I opened his chest and there was a finger holding that artery in place. 
Amen. You see, that ain't hearsay. I know that. Yeah. Oh, my God. I said, revival me. I'm going to preach it. I'm going to give glory to Jesus. Amen. We in the revival meeting over at Pierce Town Baptist Church. You remember that? <coughs> well, me and Keith have been at my tenure right there. We've been on this journey. Got over there, Randy, and there's a little black haired girl about the size of Kylie. And as for me and this little old girl, I haven't seen my life. She's running down the aisles, and everybody just to play with her. She just jumping from lap to lap to lap. And praise God, all of it, and I thought to myself, my God, somebody ought to get a hold of that young We ought to keep her mouth shut. You know that? That's right. Hey, man, I was sitting there, and her daddy got up and went to testify about that little girl that the doctors wanted his wife to abort. Yeah. You see that little baby? Hey, man, the doctor said she wouldn't live. There were 12 days. Hey, man, the doctor said she was impossible. Hey, taking her into the breeders. Hey, take her everywhere and do tests. You see, that baby didn't have but a half a brain. Hey, man, she didn't have but a half a brain. You know how she could talk, walk, see, jump, and play. Hey, man, it was a man called Jesus. Hey, man, give the glory of God for that baby. Hey, we had church that night. Amen. Hey, come on, that church. Do you believe what I'm preaching? I, I brother, let me tell you something. I, I don't let people they get you down. I, hey, man, you keep looking toward Jesus I, because God's going to touch. I, then we pray more. I, hey, man, pray for God. I'm going to tell you something. I, hey, God ain't never lied to me. Bless you, Lord. I can pick your heads out here tonight. I can point you out. The faces. I prayed one time that God would give me people that stand with me, Jeff. I said, <laughs> And you know what God began to show me? He started showing me the faces of these old boys. <laughs> and they wasn't even saved yet. Amen. Boy. And I fell down and started crying because I thought I was going crazy. Bless you. Bless you. I said, Lord, how are they going to stand? How are they going to help me? Bless you. They're lost. He said, they are now. But he said, they're coming. Y'all see one of them? He just sat right here. Hey, man, pray God, brother. Hey, man, I'm glad to walk with you. To be a part of it, amen. I thank God that God sent you. I thank God God sent some of the rest of you. Pray God to set in the house of God. Everybody's got you back, ain't they? Until it comes down to really having you back. Yeah. I just say we'll see. And I'll tell you why, because praise God, when I have to stand, there ain't many people want much to do with it. Amen. Amen. Everybody makes promises they know they can't keep. There used to be a bus logo was to revive. I'm going to tell the truth. Yeah. And every one of them said, Preacher, I'll stand with you no matter what happens. You know how many of us left? This brother right here and my wife. Amen? Of the older ones that went with me. Do you know what? Now I've got new ones. Amen? Amen? Amen. I believe, praise God, before they run me off, I think this person should stand up. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Say, preacher, you crazy. Hey, you may be saying, I ain't never seen nobody like you. You ain't never met nobody like me. I promise you that. Because I'm going to tell you something. But that old alcoholic died on Friday night. I became a child of God. Hey, come on, man. Why my world changed? Amen. 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 You come alive in my life. I went to my dad's 
dad's house and I stood in the kitchen and my sister, I couldn't do nothing but cry. You talk about a cry, baby. You know what? I don't really care. I'll cry, man. The try, brother. Amen. I was standing in the kitchen and my oldest sister was standing there with me. I couldn't help it, Tiff. I just broke down and cried. There's a warmth in my soul. There used to be an empty place. And it was full of love. And there's something in there I couldn't control anymore. So I just stood and cried. And she looked at me and I was just bawled. I couldn't do a thing but cry. And she looked at me and she said, What in the world is the matter with you? I said, I'm not saved. Amen. Give my life to Jesus. And she said, I've never seen you like this. I said, My God, I've never been like this before. Amen. And the closer I get, the longer I walk. Praise God, the better it gets. The Bible said to make your peace call an election sure. He said to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You say, I can't carry you into the pearly gates. You're going to have to make it by just your Jesus. Amen, sister. I remember when I got saved, there were three people baptized in that creek. Some of them stuck, some of them didn't. Some of them went right back into the hell they did start with. And they're still in it. And I went down to the shell station one morning. There's no more work down there. Now he's probably as arrogant as I was. I can tell you something about me. All you had to do is cross your eyes and be nice. We've read five <laughs> I made it stupid, but I ain't never been afraid. <laughs> Sometimes it'd have been better if I had to be. Yeah. This morning, Jeff, I knew there's something changed. I didn't think the way I used to think. I didn't, I didn't want no liquor, didn't want no beer, didn't want none of that old junk. I lost the taste for it. The smell of it made me sick. I know there's something went on. Let's see more. Didn't fully understand it, but praise God, I know something moved into my life. And this old boy come out and he's going to jump on my brother-in-law. Now I can tell you straight up, it'd be a whole lot easier to jump on me if will somebody's with me. That's right. I cannot handle it. And that boy come out of our mic that morning and he looked at me and he looked at him and he said, I'm going to punch him right in the mouth. And I just stepped up and I said, no, I don't think you're going to do today. <laughs> And you know, I could not hit him for nothing. <laughs> and I went back and I prayed. <coughs> and I thought, Lord, what's the matter with me? And I went back to that little old church. And I went back to that little spot. And that all the little tears fell. And Jesus came into my life. And went back through time. And I walked with the Lord back to that place. Back to that Friday night. And you know what I found? There was nothing past that night. It was all gone. Amen. He said he cast my sins into the sea of forgiveness. As far as the east is from the west. To never be remembered anymore, brother. You see, my life as I know it was gone. Amen. And the Lord told me, He said, Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I shall recompense. I left that old boy to Jesus. Amen. Amen. You see, I know what Paul preached. 
And I'm still looking. I've been a preaching for 20 some years and I'm still looking for one more, praise God, <coughs> that wants a new beginning. Amen. That wants a new start. I tell people all the time, you know, sometimes I'd like to go back and do things over and I'd do things different, but I don't want to do that. Because I might not live through it this time. Amen. Amen. You see, my past is what makes me the man I am today. That Bible school shirt you're wearing, he said, being overcomer. And on the back it reads, Amen, over in the book of John in the fifth chapter, in the fifth verse, he said, Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that ought, hey, but he that believeth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I thank God. There's nothing too hard for God. Amen. 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 <coughs> and you know I get feeling sorry for myself and have a feeling for you every once in a while. People don't like me and you can just imagine I don't understand why. But <laughs> they don't like me. They talk to to my face and talk about me like a dog when they get behind my back and put me down. Bless him, Lord. Amen. I'm telling the truth. Bless him, Lord. <laughs> and I get to feeling sorry for myself. Yeah. Deacons hurt my children when they was little. Hurt their feelings. Tried to run their daddy off. Hurt my wife's feelings. He'd come home every Sunday morning, every Sunday evening and cried, did yeah? <coughs> God wouldn't let me leave. I had to go back. And I thought I had it rough. I'm going to get back on Paul. The Bible said that Paul feared over there in the city, and God told him, said, Fear not, Paul. For I have many people in this city. And he told him, said, cry loud and spare not. Did you know this old man of God was willing to die for the cause of Christ? Yeah, amen. The Bible said he went into the city over there and he began to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The birth, the death, and the resurrection of a living Savior. Can I give an amen? amen. And the Bible said, amen, that praise God the men of that city jumped home. Be, amen. Even many with their teeth according to the Word of God. And they stoned that old man of God till he laid down and they thought he had died. Now listen, I want to get a hold of this. They carried him outside of the city. Throwed him on a rock pile and left him for dead. <coughs> You know what happened? Yeah. <laughs> the word of the Lord came by. Yeah. He reached out and touched him. You know what happened? I'd like to be the second back there sometime. <laughs> heard a voice come. <laughs> when they thought they'd kill him, left for dead, come right back down the yeah. street up preaching Jesus. <laughs> Amen. 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 Now praise God, that's dedication, that's Amen. commitment. Can I get a name back? That's a calling, bro. Right. It amazes me. I see people on the street of West Jefferson living like hell, talking like a devil, amen, doing all this stuff, amen. Amen. Even those that's talked about me like a dog, Jeff, you ought to see their face when God lets me go to the church to preach. <laughs> amen. Right. I ain't told a bunch of them once. I said, you just can raise up and look at here. I ain't going to tell nothing on you. <laughs> Amen. Come on. Better be careful what you say. I will send that very man, praise God, to where you're at. Oh, Lord, come on. You'll have to face him some more in life. And man, you don't tell him the truth. I love you tonight. I pray to God you've got something out of this. It's under the blood. 
The fish under the blood it don't exist anymore. Amen. 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 If you've repented of it, it means you've got out of it. I preached the repenting message in a funeral here this the other day. And this is what I told them. These things in God's people's life. That's right. Are you hearing me? That's right. <laughs> In God's people's life that sits in church every Sunday morning, they need to get rid of and repent of. Amen. It's a repenting way. Amen. And until God God cannot use you, you get it out of the way. Amen. 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 I thank God for all his hearts. I'm going to try to hush. Old Paul began to cry out in my ear when the young began to sing. See, Paul knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Let me give you another example, and I'm going to <coughs> Christ told Peter over there, Peter told him, said, said he'd die with him, and Christ said, you'll deny me thrice before we call Christ. Took him in the pilot's hall, and Peter even cussed like the people that was standing around. They told him, he said, you're one of them. You can try to hide it, but it'll show on you if you've been walking with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on. Peter denied him three times and then the rooster crowed. Yeah. Condemnation and chastening fell on that old man. Praise God. And he fell down and weak bitterly to man see. The very man that denied Christ in the hour that he needed him a most when he's going to crucify him. <laughs> Jesus said, Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. He said, For in my Father's house are many mansions. And he said, If it were not so, he said, I'd have told you. And he said, I go to prepare a place for you. And he said, If I go to prepare a place, I'll come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am there you may be also. You see, Jesus died on the cross, was buried for three days, rose again, went into glory, spread the blood on the mercy seat, and He came back to get His disciples. And the Bible said He came to them in the upper room. <laughs> and He came just came out through the door, the doors and the windows being locked for they had to fear the Jews. And Jesus said, touch me and see if I'm not flesh and blood. Say that and eat meat with them. And the Bible said He breathed on them. And said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Hey, old Peter was in that room. You know what happened to Peter? He born again. Born of the Spirit, amen. And nowhere in the book do I read that Peter ever denied him again. Woo! My God, you better look down about the book. I'm going to say one more thing. We may be here all night. I hope you get to say <laughs> Maybe a long time for breakfast. The very one that denied him, sister, over the book of Acts. <coughs> the Bible said, stood boldly at the day of Pentecost. Yeah. And he preached something he believed in. Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Amen. And the Bible said 3,000 souls were added to the church. <laughs> By that old boy that denied Him, brother, before He got all the Holy Ghost. My <coughs> God, don't tell me. That's right. There's been a million person, Jeff. Will never believe that God saved me, much less call me to preach. But he did. Brother Mitchell, what he did, I pray that's my prayer. The Lord could look at me and said, You fought a good fight. You kept the fight. Finish your course. Come on home, son. You know, I'd hate to think after 27 years <coughs> that everything that I've ever done for God was in vain. Me and the Lord, we've had 
this has been sort of a hard week, but this has been one of the best weeks I've ever had, Jim. Sitting there, got the Word of God deep again. The Lord talking to me all day long. An old tractor. Put my ear plugs in because I can't stand the racket because my ears is just about shot. The Lord just whispered to me. He said, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm just as real as I was 20 some years ago. Anyway, he said, I still got this stuff here. <coughs> James, you did. I'm proud of it. Amen. For I don't see a troubled little woman now. I see a good mama, a good wife. Thank God. A child of God. Amen. 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 The peace. Jesus said, My peace I give unto thee, not like the world can give. See what God, what the world gives you is temporary. Yeah. What God gives you is eternal. I'm going to try my best to couldn't get away from that tonight. You know God's so good to me that I just can't hardly stand. Amen. Amen. We was there at the house the other night. Me and Barney had been riding some colts and trying to give God the glory here. And I saddled one up, I was fixing the ride, and that thing bust. You ain't never seen such a rodeo. And Trisha was standing there, and she said, You ain't going to get on that thing, are you? And I said, Why, well, yes. Yeah. She said, Please don't get on that hole. That's afraid of him, didn't he? He may blow up again, but he's not bucked the time since, and he's been around. God wants me thrown, he'll get me thrown. And if he wants me to ride that little blue-eyed horse, yeah, praise God, we're going to just ride off and keep forgetting it. But I'm going to ask him first. Yeah. Amen. You see, everything's all right when he gives you the okay. Amen. Amen. Right. Everything. Amen. I'm going to try to hush. Somebody get you a song. I'm going to try my best just to be quiet. Anybody? Fearless soul, while you linger, wandering from the fold of God, hear you not the invitation of a prepared to meet the God. Yeah, well, 
a blowing. That's God raising the wind up. Jesus. Can't you feel it? It's a draw. in the family. He knows I'll help him. <laughs> he knows I'll tell him when he's wrong. He knows I'll help him. And man, I love him. Hold the special place in my heart and I can go to heaven with him. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I love him. Get you another song. Amen. Keep going on for you. Let's have church. Amen. Amen. Come to give him glory. Lord. 